everybody, and welcome to Cooking Adventures with Katie. This is episode two, and it is Easter Sunday. Yay! Happy Easter, everybody! Now, for any of you that know me, know that Easter means cherry pie, bitches. Because, uh, well, I mean, you might know Easter as, Oh, Jesus rose today. It's the third day after Good Friday. Stuff like that. Um, before Christianity was a thing, uh, Easter was a fertility celebration, which is where you, we have the bunny rabbits and the eggs, because who multiplies like bunny rabbits and hello eggs? That's why we dye them red too. Um, although the red was changed to many colors because... I mean, yeah. Anyway, um, so what better day to have a cherry pie than on Easter? Hmm. You want a piece of this pie? It's cherry. hey -o. Anyway, so we're going to do this. But because I'm lame, I have cherry pie filling in a can. Next year there will be legit cherries that I have frozen from cherry season. And all that dandy stuff. Um, but we will be making the crust. So today is mainly pie, pie crust. Fill it, throw it in the oven, and what do you do? Um, the pie crust calls for a cup and a fourth of flour. A pinch of salt, some cold water, and cold. Cold, cold, cold. Um, like, I have like five ice cubes in this cup of water because I don't have... Because my, my faucet water isn't cold enough. Um, and then cold butter, and it's a third cup of that. This is probably a little bit more than a third. I just pulled it out of my freezer, um, to make sure it was cold enough. I, you can't really tell. I have, this, this will be pie crust number three, because my first one started off pretty good, and then it just, it wouldn't stay together, and then my second one was failing, and so I've just been kind of eating it uncooked pie crust all day so um round three third time's a charm and um so let's do this so you have a bowl and you put the flour into the bowl with your pinch of salt and you mix this up And I really, really want this to come out okay and good because I really don't feel like making another pie crust and failing at it. Just, I don't know. Maybe my water wasn't too wasn't cold enough. Maybe my butter wasn't cold enough. Maybe I didn't just have enough love in my heart while I was making it. But I got tired of it and was like, fuck it, and took it out. So we're back. I don't even know, like what, two hours later? And we're gonna try it again. So now with the butter, once the flour and the salt is mixed up together, the butter is easiest done. Ah, shit. Okay. The butter is easiest done in chunks. So, cause I mean, you're gonna have to cut it up in there. So, and we'll just put in a couple of cubes. Might as well just use all of it. I'll just... Alright, so we'll do little bits at a time. But, um, yeah, you just cut it up in there. And I don't have a... Um, I don't even know what they're called. It's like a, like a bread a bread cutter, but it's like... Or a flour cutter, but it, it essentially does what I'm doing here with the knives. And if you're like me and lack nine out of ten things to uh, cook with, you just kind of do with what you got. Like this mixing bowl is brand ass new. I was making brownies which required like three and four bowls for like a couple years before I even got one mixing bowl. Everything else I just kind of found something and worked with it. Like, 
like a pot, like a cooking pot. chunks of the butter or like uh I don't know coconut oil if you use it um or margarine or softening or whatever the fuck it is you use you kind of want there to be like little chunks of like this fat covered in flour but not like too massive because it just adds flavor to the whole shebang come out right is like exponentially a lot because <clears throat> if this doesn't work we're just gonna have to do pie another day and then I'll just go on to making like eight batches of chocolate because I told everybody at work I'd bring chocolate tomorrow I enjoy cooking I do I really do I promise just... today might not have been my day So when you're done with this, it should look kind of like that. And so now we take a couple of spoonfuls of my nope, I'm not in the sink, so I don't use it again. Um, of the cold water. Now in the recipe it says you want to make a rough dough ball and to err on the side of crumbly. So I'm going to put four spoonfuls of water and we're going to mix this up and get us some dough. And this was the point that I had gotten to with the other ones. Um, well I had gotten to where I was rolling them out and everything and they just, they weren't having it. Doop -a -doop. All right, so this needs a little bit more water because it's not even starting to stick. I said four, right? I think that was four. I don't know. I didn't even count. One, two, three. All right. This is starting to feel like it's sticking together. All right, I got a little mass going on in there, a little blob. Now when you do this, you want to make sure you've got plenty of space on your counter um, and keep out the bag of flour because you're going to use more than the cup and a fourth because you got to keep everything smooth and rolling. Yeah, if it's sticking to your hands like this, you're, you're on the right path. All right, do one more. If I'm counting correctly, that would have been eight. If not, it's probably like seven. Let's 
it's looking good. All right. I think we're good. Okay. So, this is the dough. Got most of it out. So I'm going to take a handful of uh, flour and dust it on the counter. I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to flip it over so we'll have flour on both sides. And then now we roll. Now when we roll, you want to make sure that it ends up being, because you're going to put it in a, like a nine inch pan. Okay, pie pan. So your ball, your your circle of dough is going to end up being a bit bigger than your nine inch pan, or well, pie pan, yeah. So this is already doing so much better. Bit more flour on top, and there's holes in the middle, but I mean, it's you know, it's whatever. I'm not even gonna bother turning it over, that'll just ruin everything. So, we're just gonna just a wee bit on top. Think. I really want to fold this over and then redo it, but I know it's going to fuck it up, but we're going to try it anyway. Just to make sure there aren't any holes on the base of the thing. We're at 13 minutes. Well, it's working better than it did last time, but I can still do this, which was not what I wanted. You know what? Whatever. Fuck it, because we're just going to have a pie crust that is not perfect, but delicious, and... I'm done with this. So here we have our pie tin. And the goal right here now is to um, fold it up and place it in your pie tin and unfold it. I have so much extra pie crust. Okay. 
I don't even care right now. I'm just gonna, we're gonna have a patchwork crust because it's gonna come out tasty anyway. And I'll just leave it in there like a couple minutes extra to make sure the pie is firm in the middle. And we'll just do that. This here. All right, now it's not perfect, it's not pretty, it's not whatever. It'll taste fucking good. So here's my pie crust, yeah, pie crust, look at how spotty it is, oh. There's pie crust. So now, the according to the jars on the can, it says 425 for 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the oven on bake on 425. Take my apple peels off of the stove. That's a video I should have done. Apple peels. Came out really good. Not the recipe I used last year, because that website was blocked, but it was still really good. So now, all we do, put the pie filling into the pie crust. Take what you're left over this, cut it into strips. Do a lattice work, throw it in the pie for 40, or throw it in the oven for 45 minutes. That's it. So at the end of the day, when the pie is all said and done, it's going into the oven like this. It's kind of shitty looking. Not my best looking pie. But into the oven it goes. Okay, so the pie is ready. So... It says I'm so golden brown. It's a little more brown than gold, but at least around the edges. But it's done. So, when it all comes down to it, da -da -da -da, that's my pie. That's all nice and pretty and edible. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all there is to it. And that's Cooking Adventures with Katie, too. Happy Easter, and enjoy your cherry pie.